Hello, hi, this is Paul Fan. Uh, today's video is regarding to uh, optimize the mail width. And uh, I've been uh, heard uh, of a different kind of question regarding to the uh, warm up process. Uh, I know that the people actually, you know, install it's quite easy, but uh, in just a short few weeks, and the email was, you know, um, haunted by the spam trap or other. Uh, the email organization and so um, the best way to avoid that is to have a proper the uh, warm-up process so the first thing is I want to show you uh, very simple uh, is this one uh, this is a uh, uh, this the uh, mail with warm-up process I found on the internet and you can just basically using that the day one you send the uh, 60 uh, email per hour, uh, basically one email per minute, and send per day 1440. And you can set this up on the server uh, quite easily, and um, and follow the schedule. And I personally, after I reach Many times after I reach uh, the uh, two months, day 60 day, about two months, about this time, I would just send if my server domain the IP address is um, uh, score is uh, 90 and above, I would just uh, not restrict any of the uh, sending limits, just be unlimited, which is value you can set up to be zero. Okay, so this is just your guidance. This. Let me talk about second thing first, and then I will talk about how to imp implement the speed, sending speed. The second thing that you want to do on the mail width is when you first starting, uh, make sure you block those domains that are prone to uh, report to the spam host or other sub the email provider for the. Uh, uh, spam. Um, basically, there are many domains that you need to block. Uh, uh, basically, you don't have to do that for the Gmail and Yahoo, but uh, almost rest of them you want to block. When you are warming your uh, the IP address and domain name. For example, like Net Zero Hotmail, MSN, Outlook, and this is format. Let me actually make the screen bigger. Uh, you want to do okay slash uh, the uh, this exact format okay and Cox ATT SBC Global AOL iCloud anything about the uh, admin administrator rule hostmaster host abuse all those spam uh, info whatever that those domains you want to block them at all at no cost okay some of the public domain some of the private domain over there uh, this is private domain because they create that in an email and public domain because they're using those are small uh, email service provider okay so those are two pretty much just two you just found this two and um, and of course um, your list must be clean. If your list is purchased, um, you want to do is uh, there is additional, additional than beyond this two point. You have to do is make sure you have uh, something a uh, uh, set up a mail with just for cleaning the list, or you can just clean the list by purchase the uh, service that. Um, that they provide, you know, on the internet you can find many different. My video also have something regarding to the list cleaning. Um, if you don't have uh, the budget to do list cleaning, because maybe you just have, you know, one thousand, two thousand of list, and this cleaning basically, um, they they kind of have fixed price, or they have a, like a monthly fee. You know, if you have that issue, you can just send create another domain and just purposely you're gonna actually make it back because you're gonna send those bad test those those list and then you're gonna actually do is and you're gonna do is whoever open the list you're going to move those 
opener to the second list. So after you do this couple time, uh, your 2,000 purchase list may be enough to be only like uh, 200. Uh, that would be pretty good, about 10%. And then you just only, once you set up new uh, mail with domain, you only send to those opener, those 200 people. And uh, open the plus clicker, you can actually have both. Uh, I do is opener. And once you send to those 200 opener, your open rate should be higher than that 2,000. 2,000 maybe you have only have 1% opening rate when those opener uh, in your new mail with domain you probably have 10 percent something like that or more so this is actually the three thing i want um, you to do for the uh, warm-up and uh, um, there is another strategy which is uh, some people use uh, i can just share with you which is number four strategy is uh, you send an email to only to yourself because you can create 10 Gmail account, 10 um, uh, Yahoo account. So you can send to your own, your by yourself, 10 Gmail, 10 Yahoo, and then uh, just every time you send to yourself, you just reply during the warm up process. Okay, um, and you can if you want to send more, just add your uh, 10 Gmail, 10 Yahoo to this. Uh, above example, this 200, uh, 200 uh, list, so you have like uh, 220, and that will increase the open rate until you can check your uh, IP, the score uh, by using the. Um, you can actually check your IP or domain score by this. Once you have a good score with good reputation, then you can start to uh, send in more. You can change the speed to, to unlimited. So that's back to the first thing I talked about speed. You can go to server, how to set up. You go to delivering server. In the delivering server, okay, you can do is um, you can check uh, your settings. Same per hour should be 60. In the Chrome over here, email per minute, 60. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. And uh, you have a very blessed day. Bye bye.